Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see Pisces, what's going on for Pisces? What is happening for Pisces? You might be getting what you think you want here. I don't know, there might be some regret or at least resentment or at least inquisitive, yeah. Two of Pentacles, so uh, something is still up in the air. It's like you're weighing the pros and the cons about it, whatever it may be. It could be a relationship or something that you're gonna do on a day-to-day -day basis or someone you have to see on a day-to-day -day basis or something that you're trying to grow. It's like you're weighing it up. Should I continue? It's like you're just allowing yourself to continue in it. But at the same time, you're still deciding. So this could even be doing two different things at the same time. I don't know. Let's see what this is about, Pisces. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're trying to decide which direction you want to go in. If you want to stay, you know, in this relationship or you want to stay in this business, you want to stay in this job. It's like you're at a crossroads here. You know that if you choose wrong, it could lead down to a karmic, oh, you know, entangled, entanglement type of path here. You don't really need that. You don't want that. It's like you know a decision has to be made here, but you're just not ready to make the decision. It's a heavy one. It's, it's not one that is made easy. It's like you could even be feeling like it's just easier to bury your head in the sand in regards to making this decision you also feel like you want to be doing something else with someone else or going somewhere else or have freedom or um i don't know the two of wands you feel like the grass is greener on the other side the other side of let's see the emperor maybe doing your own thing being an expert in the field or in your field starting your own business um you also could be married okay or a coupled but you, there's somebody or something you have your eye on. You want to go towards this person, whether it is permanent or temporary. It's like you want the opportunity to be with them. Or Pisces, you're dealing with someone who's already married or couple, and they like to have you as an extra, you know, a stand in, the two of wands. You are uh, going in between the in between here, trying to grow two different relationships at the same time with the two of pentacles. So you got someone here, the emperor, who feels like he's got enough love, time, energy, money to give to two different relationships. Let's see. Uh, you got somebody desiring you, but not only you. You had a seven of swords. You got somebody here who wants to, you know, it would be a situation of sneaking around. This is you, Pisces, or you're engaging in something like this. So this could be an older gentleman. This could be somebody in the law or law or someone in the legal profession. This is someone who's done their work. This is someone who's done a lot of work to get to where they are. The Seven of Swords, this is somebody here who, um, they, they would definitely, this would be deception. You know, either deception on the part of them lying to you and telling you that they, you're the only one or they only want you or that they're leaving their wife or their husband or whomever. That is a complete lie. That is not happening. Um, this is deception in terms of I'm running away from that relationship right now to you. And then when I'm, you know, done here, I'll be running back to. So it's like someone going to and fro. Someone who's trying to, you know, really mask their true feelings for what they really want to do. They're trying to act like they don't want to you know um like they don't like they're not doing this like they're not lying like they're not being deceptive like they don't really like they're um they really care about both parties they really care about themselves they really care about getting what they want they want they don't care if they have to lie cheat steal whatever it is for it this is somebody who has just singular plans for themselves this is somebody who could you know be the lone wolf they're like you know i don't necessarily have to have a relationship i could just have relations yeah, somebody just wants to go and get it, you know, get one off or let one off with the night, the page of wands here. That's it. Yeah, somebody just wants to, you know, have sex with and have a fun night, uh, a whirlwind romance, and then possibly go back home. Yeah, hey man, it could be you, Pisces. That's what you want to do. It's like you want to have some secret affair. You know, stolen waters are sweeter. That's what they say, right? It's like you want to just 
you know, have some fun, let go, and then ghost that situation, the hermit, go back to where you came from. You what make it what could be holding you back from this is maybe you know self examination, self reflection. Like you you wouldn't want someone to do that to you, okay? Therefore, you're not doing it. Five of Pentacles, but you think about it. Six of Pentacles. You may have already done it for some of you, the Nine of Swords. When you leave somebody, you leave them in a place of just not understanding, or you leave them in a place of anxiety. Like, is this really over? Are they going to come back? Are they done? Is this just a one off or? I don't know. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be Gemini highlighted here, because it's like somebody comes in and just takes what they want, and then they leave. It could be you. It could be another person. Somebody leaves you in a place of you know trying to figure out where the relationship is going. You may even get paid for having sex or sex sexual encounters. What is going on here for Pisces? The three of pentacles, yeah. It's like something's you do somebody's doing something over and over again. They come back to you, they make it seem like they want what you want. Could be a Sagittarius, get sad from the board twice. You know, they, they tell you the sweet nothings. Then they ghost the situation, they leave. Or they tell you that things are gonna change and mature. I'm not sure if they do. Yeah, but they're keeping something from you. They're keeping something stuck or there's lies or it's deception. Yeah, then they put time and energy space between the two of you. And then they come back and reconcile. This is somebody playing with you. This could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius coming up again. The Ten of Wands. Um, taking you for granted, playing with you. You know, a relationship with no intentions or something going nowhere fast. What's going on here for Pisces? Some of you... Want to just jump out there and do something, have some like secret sexual relationship. Some of you are dealing with somebody who comes in and out. They promise you this, promise you that, that we're going to do this, do that. They're not making good on any of the promises. They're in and out. You know, they give just a little or just enough to keep you hanging in there. They're playing with you. Yeah, you, you know it's not a good idea that you give to this or, yeah, because somebody's broke or broken. Or they broken promises over and over again. Um, I stare at your pictures for hours. I'm obsessed. There is someone who's obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. Birthday could be in March. Someone stopped waiting. Someone needs to stop waiting. Yeah. Somebody is finished or finished because uh, this was too hard to handle. Now someone's straight up stalking you. It could be a masculine energy. Maybe somebody promised you something. They didn't make good on any of the promises you left. And now they're... Um, because you got no longer, you, you aren't stuck on them anymore, okay? And uh, now they're stuck on you. Now they're seeing that, you know, you are my sunshine, especially when I'm in a dark place. They could be African-American. And they were leaving you out at one time. Now they want to be warm to you and date you. This is somebody who was selling you dream lies, you know, about maybe a relationship, a house. You were hard-headed, but then you learn this person could be into illegal activity, illegal money, business. Yeah, they're all about money, about carnality. You know, they could even worship money. They just love it. You decided to divorce them, let them go, or they were divorcing you all the time, coming back, then divorcing you, ghosting you, okay? Um, you've come out of being in a depressive state or depressed about this. you come out of caring about it. Um, somebody is an earth angel, okay? And you could be in love with two different people. It's like somebody wants to have reconciliation with you. They want to have it quick. They want you to make a rational decision, especially if you're feminine energy. Um, they don't want you to be immature about this. Or they were immature in regards to you. And they weren't there for you. Now they're angry that you started to think quick about what they were doing. And you decided to make it your business to be happy elsewhere or just by yourself or self-love here. Because somebody was resting in the energy of fear of missing out. And they were always suspending the relationship. Um, maybe for money. Or giving you money. Or thinking that money would suffice. Um, it would be sweet. But um, at the same time, they, they just didn't care about the connection. They didn't want, want what you wanted. They were lying. They were just feeding you a dream. And they hoped that you would hang, in to, hang on to that forever. Let's see what else is going on for you, Pisces. Or what signs you were dealing with. Uh, something that was complex 
it was irritating. It was pu puzzling you. It was somebody was like, contradicting themselves. They would say one thing and do another. Saturn, you got wisdom because they kept doing the same thing over. And if someone keeps doing the same thing over to you, you keep getting the same outcome. You should grow from it. You should gain knowledge and then wisdom from it, right? Could be a cancer. Could be somebody who's just playing with you. Okay, I'm telling you that they wanted you back. They wanted a family. They were playing with you. You finally, you know, got empowered to walk away from this. Leave them alone. You got the strength to um, cut them out. To be the authority. Understand who is your ally and who is not. Yeah, tenth house. You also were like, um, you weren't trying to have them come into your life and mess up your reputation, or you just knew that they had a messed up ass reputation. It could be um, maybe a masculine here who is in to some illegal activity. Yeah, and it's all about themselves with the first house. All, you know, all about maybe, yeah, themselves, self-image, the outlook uh, about their home, about uh, their comfort, their habits, their rejuvenation, their real estate. And they weren't willing to share. They needed to heal or you need to take time to heal from this because you got played. You gave your love to somebody with Venus here who wasn't giving it back. Could be Virgo or somebody who just wasn't reciprocating, who wanted money, was after money. It was mysterious. They were always um, in and out with the Uranus card here. They were always leaving you. You couldn't figure them out. It was always a challenge. Um, you also can't figure out maybe a friend dynamic or something like that, or your friend. Um, somebody's radical, you know, um, energetic, radical. You just can't figure them out. Competitive or there, there's always competition or there was competition in this love affair. And that's what made it so hard to stay with or stick with. Somebody had a third party who was a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They were trying to grow two different relationships at the same time. This is a ruthless woman who would do anything to keep this man. Or this is what you were doing. You wanted to maintain happiness, you know, with the outlook for everybody else that you guys were happy and it was going to work. Or that you were going to have some long-term stability. That you want to get what you wanted. This is what I have for you, Pisces. But it looks like you're changing your mind or somebody's changing their mind or somebody's in the energy of, you know, this is just not going to work for me. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are a business-minded individual and you want to be around like-minded uh, people, you can go ahead and sign up for the monthly KTMG Keep the Momentum Going a conference call. It's where you will receive valuable practical and spiritual advice in regards to starting, maintaining, or developing, or excuse me, um, starting, maintaining, or growing your business. Okay. So you'll get individual spell work, uh, mantras, meditation work, and practical advice, uh, resources, and advisors to help you uh, grow, start, or maintain your business. Okay. So be involved in that. Go ahead. The time is now uh, for you to uh, unleash, unlock yourself to get some business mentorship um, at a fraction of the cost. Okay, so sign up for either group um, mentor or you can sign up for individual mentorship. And if you want to just get on a quick discovery call with me to see if I can help you with your business venture, a business journey, go ahead and schedule your discovery call. It is complimentary. Uh, the link is in the description box. All right, so take care. Many blessings to you. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one, in your need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship 
will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.